the team you trust. The Ogden Metro SWAT team is made up of elite officers from 10 different Weber County law enforcement agencies. They're all highly skilled, highly trained, and until recently, all male. But an officer from the Ogden Police Department has broken down that barrier. ABC 4's Rick Aaron introduces us to her in tonight's Behind the Badge Report. A few years ago, Jenna Robbins was operating a daycare and had never picked up a gun in her life. Now, Officer Robbins is on the front lines of the most intense and dangerous critical situations in Weber County. The SWAT team is known as the elite, and they are the ones who you call when things go wrong, and I wanted to be part of that. She's the star of a documentary produced by the Ogden Police Department. I am Jenna, and I am the first female operator on the Ogden Metro SWAT team. Only five foot six and barely over a hundred pounds, Officer Robbins doesn't look the part of a special weapons and tactics officer, but what you can't see is her toughness and her drive. I knew I wanted to do SWAT before I even applied to be an officer. I was always told there was never a female officer on the team. The physical standards were just way too hard. A woman can't do it, you're not strong enough, you gotta put in a lot of work. And then I was like, no, I can do it. I come in with the attitude of I can do it. After 18 months as a patrol officer and hundreds of hours on the shooting range and in the gym, the wife and mother of two endured the seven-day SWAT team tryout known as Hell Week. Hell Week was absolutely brutal. There's nothing that can ever prepare you for the mental exhaustion that comes with Hell Week. It was honestly the hardest thing that I've ever had to do. But then I would think of my daughter at home and how I want to set a good example for her. And she was almost my driving force to just keep moving forward. With no special treatment because of her gender, she made it through and made the team. Now she's always a phone call away from the next hostage situation or barricaded suspect. I tell my kids all the time, like when we get a SWAT call out, they freak out. And honestly, I feel safer being on a SWAT call out at a critical incident than I do working patrol at a crit critical incident. Just because we're more equipped, we have better training, we have the better skills to handle those types of situations. The SWAT team's not there to go in and destroy things. We're not there to bust doors and just shoot people. We are there to make it safer for everybody involved. Officer Robbins tells me the most difficult thing she's experienced is the death of her good friend, Officer Nathan Lyde, and that she's had some close calls herself. But she will keep doing this dangerous duty and hopes that more women will follow in her footsteps. I'm a role model to a lot of women, but mostly my daughter. I just love showing her, like, look, they said you can't do it, but you can do it if you work for it. You might be asking, how does Jenna's husband feel about her job? Well, I think it's fair to say he understands because he is an officer on the Ogden Metro SWAT team as well. For Behind the Badge, Rick Aaron, ABC4 News.